thank you very much, uh, National National Energy Authority and uh, staff for initiating uh, this MOU. Um, the MOU is timely. Um, we come of age where now clean energy is uh, is important. Um, taking into account what is happening uh, around the globe um, in relation to uh, climate change effects, uh, etc. Um, World Palm, as we know, um, is a it's become a substitute to fossil fuel, and it's it's clean energy, and that's the way to go forward uh, to counter the challenges we are facing uh, going forward. Um, the challenges also our farm is uh, faced with with the deforestation regulations uh, uh, now uh, set up by European Union. Uh, but going forward, we have enough uh, savanna land uh, up to almost uh, 10 million hectares or so. So um, um, going forward, um, we can be able to um, produce uh, clean energy in this country and maybe we can also be able to ex export uh, this energy uh, elsewhere. And at the same time, um, we can put pressure on the edible oil that will contribute to uh, increase the demand that would bring uh, prices up for our growers and uh, for our exporters for the country. So uh, once again, um, thank you for the uh, for uh, bringing this uh, up uh, with OPIC. OPIC is not yet a regulator, but we have now um, um, taken the challenge to make OPIC become a regulator of the industry, which will now complement what we are signing today. On the 20th of February, uh, 2025, we have already uh, launched our, our uh, policy document for NEC 2 uh, So maybe within the next two or three weeks, when the policy uh, comes out, we have uh, bills already been drafted by our technical working group uh, uh, that will go before Parliament. This was already uh, expressed to the Prime Minister in our meeting uh, on Tuesday. and. Uh, government is, is, is uh, very well aware and is very, very supportive of uh, what we are uh, doing. Uh, and I once again uh, thank the MP and your team uh, for coming here to sign this demo uh, for us to now embark on clean energy. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Secretary Capson. Um, uh, thank you for hosting us, NEA. We are also a fairly new authority, as you always so we look forward to supporting you in that journey that you take. It's important to have uh, regulators for specific industries. Uh, coffee is already you know, taking the lead in setting up the National Coffee Authority. We would also like to see National uh, Oil Palm Authority as well, uh, so we can have a, a step in the game. There's only a few oil palm producing countries as you are aware and know the numbers. Just beginning of this year, Air New Zealand imported um, sustainable aviation fuel from oil palm um, up to 15 million litres. Uh, so the cost of fuel is, is high though compared to uh, jet fuel that we get from the petroleum products. But the company moving into that to meet the ESG requirements, uh, environment, sustainable governance requirements, to meet the decarbonization plan, carbon offset. Um, also, on the efficiency, uh, fuel from bio, sustainable fuel from uh, bio, biogas or biodiesel for aviation is more efficient than the uh, just fuel from uh, the hydro, hydrocarbon based fuel. So. Those are the choice, fuel of choice uh, for the future. I just arrived from our review of the voluntary um, review of our SDG goals, 17 goals that uh, our uh, Minister for Petroleum, uh, not Petroleum, Planning and, and the Secretary of Planning just launched this morning. Uh, 17 of the key uh, goals, one of them, seven is on sustainable energy. 
And we believe, uh, given the number of uh, assets we have in country in terms of oil palm, oil palm can be one of the key uh, players on, if not the player, even the key pillar in which we can drive the renewable space. And with, with oil palm, you can get biogas, you can get biomass, you can get biofuel. So it's more sustainable, more renewable, even direct uses. Our villages in the oil palm producing countries or communities can do direct biogas for cooking. And it's been done elsewhere in the region. So either in direct uses or indirect uses, oil palm, we believe, is the uh, fuel or the, or the source that that we can really harness. We have uh, we haven't uh, put effort into how we can uh, deploy technologies and uh, how we can utilize what we already have. Uh, so this MOU will pave way for us into how we collaborate, synergize, uh, share ideas, technologies, and and find solutions uh, as we. Uh, go towards supporting development aspirations uh, of Papua New Guinea, uh, making our communities uh, more livable, uh, getting the communities to have access to um, cooking gas from, from biomass, and uh, as well as meeting our MTDB4 and our Sustainable Development Goals 2030. So, uh, we, if you look at the current power challenges in Papua New Guinea, with PNG power not a reliable supplier. Uh, in the biomass industry, there's huge potential to support PNG power. Uh, we just visited the Alatau um, Agita oil palm, owned by New Britain Palm Oil, and they have installed capacity for steam turbine and gas, gas engines in Agita up to 12 megawatt. In Alatau, the town, so they only need four megawatt. So that system is sitting there, and we need uh, a collective effort on how we can collaborate with the private sector, the public, and our industry, so that uh, collectively we can find solutions for the challenges we have in the energy sector or water and natural resources. Uh, the potential is there, so. We, I'm, I'm happy to send this interview. Uh, there's no financial commitments, but it's more on the collaboration on the government to government, uh, agency to agency, and as we look forward to provide that pathway for uh, foreign direct investments to come in. We've got companies from within the region want to do biogas, biomass, biofuel, uh, biodiesel from even from uh, the oil palm. Uh, as well, so uh, we want to promote that so that uh, our the industry corporations and the National Energy Authority can provide that uh, avenue for, for those uh, companies to come in. And this in line with the Marabaroso government the downstream process in uh, finding a sustainable solution uh, for the development aspiration and supporting the economy of our country. So thank you, uh, thank you everyone for coming. Um, uh,